guys welcome back to Charlie Shed and this is just a quick um, sort of review just a quick look at the uh, Metcalf model kit in N scale uh, this one's for the gardener's cottage so the code on that as you can see is uh, PN158 and um, yeah it's just a, a very basic little uh, sort of cottage model and there it is, completed. So I've already built it. But overall, I'm really, really um, happy with how this turned out. So let me just uh, kind of talk you through the, the process, if you like. Hopefully this is useful to somebody. Firstly, I'll just run through exactly what you get in the kit. Um, obviously, because I've already built it, uh, all the uh, the holes here are empty, but you get um, just in this, this um, card sheet, here so you get all the main components uh, to build it obviously and um, yeah these these just pretty much push out what you do need to do you can see the uh, the blue um, arrows in the sheet so what you need to do is go along and um, score those lines uh, not the other ones and then you actually just push that out and that calf suggests that you get yourself one of these um, which I did so I actually purchased this uh, from the Metcalf website as well. Um, I've still got the box there. So that's a Swan Morton um, knife and it comes complete with um, some blades. So there are a few blades inside the uh, the packet there. And then you just click the blade into the end and obviously that's uh, horrendously sharp <clears throat> a blade there. So you've got to be really careful, um, but it's easy. Yeah, just got myself a a ruler I'll have to get a metal one because the plastic one's not ideal obviously for cutting so, uh, what else do you get you also get for the, the kind of main structure reinforcements uh, these bits are actually I'll just show you on the model um, yeah so that's the, the brown cardboard there Metcalf again they recommend um, numbering up all the bits on this plate before you you push them out and that's obviously been laser cut card so they were don't need scoring they're pretty easy just to push out um, and what else do you get you also get the windows and everything obviously there's nothing to look at here because um, they've all gone but um, you can see if I just bring this in um, then that is the the glazing um, for the kit and it actually says oh just about see that it actually says bay window written across the bottom so that was all in the uh, sheet there and then that tells you again where to cut and then these ones for the bay window you just score between the lines because you need to obviously bend that round inside um, the window itself to make it fit and then uh, glue that in place. Uh, this bit here is another laser cut sheet <clears throat> it's a slightly thicker card as you can see and that forms the gable ends um, on the model just here and actually these are built up in three layers so if we just hopefully you can see that that actually has a sort of profile and it does stick out um, so there's there's three parts to that as well as the um, the laser cut parts and the glazing etc you do get some ultra fiddly bits um, as well these are kind of optional extras if you like so these are actually curtains um, here and um, yeah they are minute but uh, maybe you can see there I actually did cut one pair out I thought I'd, I'd give it a go and um, you can be the judge see if you can notice the uh, the curtains they look yeah look pretty decent I think I've got one pair upside down maybe they uh, the ones on this side should have been the other way up but um, what they recommend you do is inside there you put a bit of spare card um, kind of just inside behind the edge of the window and then you attach the curtains along the where it says curtain tab you attach that so they just stand back slightly and you can probably make that out yeah and then the other ultra fiddly thing um, which I remember uh, Simon sh shared on that channel um, that Simon was saying about the the chimney pots can be a real hassle these are just bits of rolled up paper uh, it's over here somewhere so we just bring that in so that's that's basically all you get um, you cut these out and as it says just um, 
kind of coil them around something uh, put a little bit of glue on the end of the tab and then stick that together and then stick that down um, as you can see that's what you get that's actually uh, what's that two chimney pots there so you could cut along the black line and then that thin black line uh, there should be at the top so as you can just about see um, there it's going to focus yeah so I've, I've just about got it right I mean I'm, I'm pretty happy with that as a first attempt um, it's incredibly fiddly but it does say in the instructions it's worth persevering with because then it adds um, a, a level of, of kind of detail and realism if that was just a, a chimney stack with no pots on the top then yeah obviously it would look a uh, just a little bit strange to assure you I didn't get it first time that uh, basically yeah there's a couple of uh, failed attempts at the, uh, the chimney where I've got too much glue on it or one is way bigger than the other one and I've screwed up a few what what I found useful personally is I just got a random uh, bolt here not very thick just a couple of mil thick and then um, wrapped the uh, the paper around the bolt uh, just to get it going and then I kind of hand rolled it very carefully and then put um, a little spot of glue on there and then just the final element is this so you've got the ridge tiles you've actually got a hell of a lot of these and um, they must just be standard sheets that they put in every kit um, so that goes onto the model obviously that's the ridge tile just along the top here so what I did do on the recommendation of Metcalf is I got myself this as well. I can actually order all of these things, including the uh, the craft knife and the uh, the paints. I just ordered this from directly from their website, and in here it's just a standard, well, very basic set of uh, watercolors. So it's got all the uh, colors, including uh, Hooker's Deep Green. Sounds delightful. Um, so everything listed there and uh, including a brush as well. So you've got your brush in here, full range of colours. So I just went in this case for a bit of um, black and brown mixed together, uh, put it in here with a bit of water and very gently kind of just wiped basically along the edge of these joints. Maybe it's not dark enough. Maybe you can still see the, the light there, but I'm generally happy with the way it's come out. Um, again on the corners I've done the same thing so if you don't do that then um, you'll be able to see um, kind of clear white lines like you would at the bottom there there you go that, uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what you're working with so it just dulls them down and it makes the, uh, the model more authentic looking final part of the puzzle here obviously we need the instructions and I've got to say these are some of the best instructions I have ever used in any model or, or pretty much anything I've built, anything I've got out of a box and had to construct, including IKEA furniture. Um, these are, are really good. So, for example, they suggest numbering the, uh, the bits of laser cut board, how to paint the edges um, as well. And then once you get going, um, very simple instructions. The only thing I messed up, because this is the first ever one I've done, um, this uh, here, I actually <laughs> assumed that the inner front wall, where it, it actually had that written on the, the piece of card, and I assumed that went on the inside as opposed to facing the outside, which meant that I stuck the glass, uh, the glazing on the wrong side. But that was easy. I pulled that off reversed it stuck it on the other side so as you can see it's nicely laid out so we're following these instructions I would say that probably to to build this completely uh, paint it up do the chimney pots and everything probably took sort of somewhere between two and three hours there's a um, a few optional extras as well with this specific model here I think they do this with a lot of um, different models where you can make these sort of extra elements like a, a little lean-to um, for example and um, other parts of buildings and then bay windows as well so as you can see I did build absolutely everything so this is the uh, the basic cottage which I think looks you know pretty 
uh, good on its own. Um, that would look nice, put that easily into uh, a piece of scenery. But then if you want to kind of, you know, give it an extra pizzazz, then you can you can put the bay window um, there. And actually, I mean, they've thought of everything. So you can even put this little black square um, behind the bay window so that then when you look through that, you won't be able to see um, another window inside a kind of lean-to element as well. Whoops. Uh, so if you wanted to just plonk that on the end there, give it a bit of an extension, then that could look pretty. Uh, but you can, again, you can put that wherever you want on the model. So make it like that. And then there's a sort of doorway into the, the shed or straight into the kitchen, straight into the building. Um, do that. You could pop this bit here. So it's um, just like incredible, really, how how flexible um, it makes it. If you uh, you put all these elements together, then um, yeah, I think that's uh, absolutely fantastic, and that would look good on any in scale layout. And if anybody going to attempt one of these models, what I would recommend is getting one of these. Um, are called uh, ultra fine tip glue applicators and these are actually made by Metcalf themselves I think this was four pounds it might have been six pounds for three bottles um, so tiny bottles and all they are is it's basically a glue bottle with a very very fine uh, point as you can see on there and then they also come with these pins which is very handy um, so the pin helps keep the uh, glue fresh inside so all i've done is pour some of that glue in here you can screw the uh, unscrew the cap pour some glue in and then when you are adding it um, to the model you've got a very very fine um, point of contact um, there so it's just makes it a hell of a lot easier this video has been of some use to you and if you're thinking of buying one of these kits i definitely recommend it uh, myself I just started with this uh, this one it cost I think it was only about eight something like eight or ten pounds um, to get it obviously the other parts cost a little bit more but then if you're gonna make more models it's well worth having these things uh, very easy to construct as I say it was definitely under three hours um, if I was going like the clackers probably get it done in in like a couple of hours but the whole point is to relax and enjoy um, building these models. Um, yeah, and I just think the, the quality of the thing, the way it looks, it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. So this one is the Gardener's Cottage PN158. If you wanna order that, you can order direct from Metcalf, who are a family business based in Yorkshire. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. All right, cheers, bye.